Chris in West Covina, California. It's the Food Bar Show. Hey, what is up, everybody? I am Joe C. I'm Josh. And we have David on the mix. Say hello, David. Hello, David. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone, for listening into the Food Bar Show. Thank you for subscribing and telling a friend like a champ. You can always catch us at Food Bar Show. That's F O Bar Show at gmail.com and F O Bar Show as our handle on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Check us out. Drop us a line and we'll fill it up like a couple of foos. Ain't that right, foos? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> on today's show, we have Steph. What's up, Steph? Hi, Steph. I'm only here, so don't get fine. Son of a uh, bitch. I knew it. God <laughs> damn it! Oh, hey, thanks for thanks for doing it. Um, now, I um, before we get into it with Steph here, and by the way, what we have on tab is obviously Steph with her he- health and such. Um, obviously, the Foo Files. We're gonna keep that shit going until it dies. <laughs> <laughs> that might be today. In Dies a, a fiery, fiery death. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have some sports. We have the joint report because the foo won't die. Nope. The foo won't die. Nope. And some music highlights. And we're going to take a different approach as we explained last time. One that Joe C will just be in. I want to take he, a nap. Just, yeah, I'm gonna he's just going to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have an open mind. We'll see what happens. Yeah, very good. So today we were supposed to have a girl with yellow spoon. She's a very popular uh, Twitch personality. Uh, I recommend everybody check her out. She's very witty, very funny. Um, salt to the air. She was extremely nice when she came in here yesterday. We usually record on Tuesdays. Today is Wednesday. A little, a little bit uh, off track, but. Uh, she came in yesterday, did an entire show. Yeah, she was good. And it was fun. We're like, wow, this is probably going to be one of the best shows we've ever had. We walked out <laughs> feeling like a million bucks, a million man. Goddamn walked dollars. out with oh, my yeah. head high. It's like, all right, this is great. <sighs> and then Josie and, walks down the hall. So in, uh, from my perspective, I'm still in the room. You walk outside with her to, I guess, uh, just chat it up while, while you're waiting for us, yeah, I take yeah, it. Yeah. Or you were just hitting on her hard. I don't know. I couldn't The tell world you. may never know, sir. No, 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 no. She'll meet to you any minute now. Yep, exactly. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> no. Um, David has this scary look on his face, and he's just like, uh, it just quit the program. And it's not there anymore, so we didn't. He didn't even save the fucking file. <laughs> well, it's, it's it wasn't it wasn't really his fault, but the fucking thing crashed, and the file was no longer there. So an hour and fifteen minutes of pure gold, yep, fucking gone, dude. Yep. So just like so that, that was disappointing. I felt so bad. I felt so bad because she went out of her way to come way down here and and got lost on the way. Got lost on the way a little bit. A little bit. Define, she she, she okay. made it. She made it. Okay. 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 She made it. She shared a dab. It was a good time. Um, but it sucks. And you know what? I plan to have her back soon uh, just to make it up because, God damn it, if I don't promote her, I'm going to feel like, like a piece of shit. That's why I'm doing that right now. Um, That's it, why? Well, amongst other things. Okay. <laughs> but uh, her name is Bella. Uh, search her on Twitch. She's on Instagram as well. Girl, girl, girl with, yellow with yellow spoon. spoon. Tell them the Foo Bar Show sent you. That'll probably be, mean virtually nothing to her. Um, uh, yeah, most likely <laughs> nothing. But uh, as good as dirt in her opinion. But yeah, she was she was really cool. I really look forward to trying this again with her. But uh, on today's show, we were just like, well, shit, you know, let's have someone on to fill in the space where we would have normally interviewed a guest. So we just have Steph. Yay! Last resort. So, sh- sh- Plan uh, B. Yeah. Call you, call Way to warm plan. that bench, Steph. Thanks. I get paid for it. Not really. No. No, no, I no you don't. No, I don't. No, no, don't. No, you don't sad. do any of that. It's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, um, we talked about it with Bella. We're, a lot of this shit we went over yesterday with her. So we're just gonna recycle it because um, it was good, and we'll see if we can take a second crack at it and try to <laughs> and try to one up ourselves. Well, the cool thing is we're doing it live this time. It's a little different. We uh-huh. got some new tricks. We got some people saying hello. 
Oh, hey. who's saying hello? What's going Music on, Man people? Geo 18 says hi. Right on, What's right up? on. Uh, Weird Al Crew says hi, Steph. Weird. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> He's the bassist for uh, the bar show. Uh, the opening. Um, the opening music to this bar show, it, to, to, to the Foo Bar to show, bar show? Oh, to this, okay, to this okay. podcast, is uh, what was a song by my old band called The Bar Show. Everything just kind of ties in together nicely. So I live, with, I live with a bunch of foos. I was in a fucking band called The Bar Show. We get foo barred all the time. It's It's insane. All the time. Hey, so, I mean, if anybody's asking, why are you guys going at the fucking Foo Bar Show? It's fucking stupid. And you're spelling it wrong. No. No, there's a reason for it. We understand it's F U B A R, motherfuckers. So you okay there? No, I'm mad. I'm oh, okay. pissed. Okay. So okay. take a chill pill. <laughs> so guys, we uh, you know how we had Frank on the other day? Yeah, yeah, man. And so <laughs> what, what happened? Unfortunately, uh, his band Throwaway Kids broke up. Uh, <sighs> fucking uh, Aaron, his, his, uh, his lead singer, moved uh, permanently to South Car- Dakota. That's got to be bad PR for us, right? Well, I, I, I would hate to think that there's some kind of curse associated no. with being on the show. I hope that, you know, like Enzo and fucking John Sfar's band doesn't break up too because of it. TFE's um, next. <gasps> what's her name? Uh, the rapper girl that we had really, really early on? Yoshi Vintage. Yoshi Vintage. I hope she's still doing her things. <laughs> I hope so, man. Is she going strong? Good Definitely. for her, man. Well, geez, don't put it out into the universe. No, no, right? of course not. I wouldn't want to do that. Too late. Yeah, well, so much for that. <laughs> and I'd like to report that we found, um, if it's not an awesome Band-Aid, I'd say it's a successful replacement. The uh, Fallen Electric has um, has found a drummer, I think. Really? Oh, who? <laughs> Richie! Richie, uh, my, the drummer for the bar show from uh, from, from the, all Steph. those years ago. <laughs> Steph thoughts. You know what? Richie is a really good drummer. Mm-hmm. Let's just see if he shows up every time. That, he has shown up yeah. every time. And the analogy I used the other day was fucking. It, it, I, it's akin to the uh, the Axl Rose thing, where like he would <laughs> blow people off hours at a time before he had to get on stage. But you know, these days he's trying to. You know, I'm sure he has a mortgage, <laughs> so he's <laughs> right. he's making it on stage almost even early sometimes. He's got some. He credit. toured with ACDC. I, I think. I think. Uh, <laughs> I think Richie's old Axl Rose days are over. <laughs> so, so Richie's Twilight, I'm optimistic. Twilight Rose. I'm fucking optimistic. Uh, it's been coming together. Um, me and Richie go back a long ways, you know, with being in a band and just enjoying the same type of music. Sometimes he doesn't even have to go home and rehearse a, a particular song that we want to play uh, because he already fucking knows it. Or he picks Damn. it up because he's heard that song. You know, one of those things where you like you just you hear a song so many times you can just. Figure oh, just, out. Yeah, just start picking it's just your, kind yeah, of yeah. second nature. Yeah, so it's it's been that kind of a rehearsal, Damn. and um, it's really fun, man. And we're playing songs that I didn't think the, the Fallen Electric would ever play. I mean, man, I don't doubt his talents, mm. but showing but, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I get yeah, it. Yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> attendance, man. Attendance. <laughs> attendance matters. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> So, um, and, and and with Travis, we have a show with him tomorrow. Actually, tonight, uh, Friday, over at the Tilted Kilt in uh, Rancho Cucamonga. That's probably going to be the second to the last show that we play with him on drums. After that, it's uh, I think it's just going to be the uh, the Orange County Fair um, right. in early August. And I'll, I'll, I'll announce it as we get closer to it. We don't have to go into that. But um, anybody who still wants to catch Travis with the band, uh, by all means, you know, come on down. And uh, and I'll we'll, wait for Richie, and <laughs> and we'll do the whole damn thing. So uh, I, I think you guys would appreciate. Well, not really appreciate, but at least know what the fuck uh, this is. Uh, Steph, do you know who Steve Ditko is? Yes. Yeah, he was the Spider Man co creator uh, and legendary comics artist who unfortunately died at the age of ninety Pioneer, on, on July sixth. That's a good life. Made it to ninety. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a- Goddamn pioneer! What, what do you know about him, uh, Josh? Um, I know he created, he helped create Spider Man, Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. Um, he did have some beef with Stanley. Yeah, you know, maybe over. Um, I'm so self conscious now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but maybe some over creative differences. I mean, Stanley was a pretty powerful guy and a pretty pretty powerful presence. So I'm sure he didn't like living in the limelight, but um. 
Damn, dude, that sucks because his artwork was like great, especially when um, he created what we like the way we know Spider Man. Yeah, right? exactly. Like yeah, the with, blue with the, the red, blue and the red with the lines and the web with the, with the webbing and, the and thing. everything with the eyes and the mm-hmm. the nose and such and face. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. all that, all that. Shut up, I mean it. Yeah, um, uh, he. Let's see here. The New York Police Department confirmed that his death uh, to the Hollywood Reporter. Ditko was found dead in his apartment on June 29th. So it was on 29th. Um, no cause of death has yet been announced. In 1961, uh, Ditko and Stan Lee created Spider-Man. Uh, Lee, yep. the editor-in-chief at Marvel Comics, gave Ditko the assignment after he wasn't satisfied with Jack Kirby's take on the idea of a teen superhero with spider powers. Uh, so the look uh, of Spider-Man, the costume, the web shooters, the red and blue design, it all came from Ditko. Yep. Uh, Spider-Man first appeared in Amazing Fantasy number 15. The comic was an unexpected hit, and the character was spun off into the Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, Ditko helped create such classic Spider-Man characters such as Dr. Octopus, Sandman, the Lizard, and oh, Green shit. Goblin, too. Dang. So he did all that shit. Uh, and that started with issue number 25. Ditko received the plot credit in addition to his artist credit. Uh, and Ditko's run ended with issue number 38. So, yeah, just like you said, he, uh, down the line, he got into a little bit of a falling out with Stan Lee. Uh, and uh, and apparently, I, he pro- I think he came back at some point. Oh, okay. But um, I think they were friendly. No, nobody will really describe why they had that falling out to begin just, with. They were just cordial around each other at that point. Uh, yeah, you know, they were old. It's like, what are we fighting about anymore? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, so I mean, he, he he will be fucking missed. I mean, uh, apparently he seemed like a, like a young, cool artist who happened to have an aged body. So he was still very energetic, much like Stan Lee, as, yeah. as we know him today. He has a great attitude about everything, a great sense of humor, and, and he still does his cameos when, with every Marvel you know, movie. I, I noticed that a lot about you know comic book creators and artists. Like they they just love life. Like mm-hmm. if you ever meet, like when we went to L.A. Comic Con, I got to meet um, Greg Capullo, uh, mm-hmm. and he's he's a current Batman artist, and yeah. his art is pretty cool. But he's just a guy that just loves life. He loves seeing all his fans. Like it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So he will be missed. Yep. So, Steph, I understand you have some health and such today. I do. Is that right? All right. Well, let me pull up your little intro here. Health and such with Steph. <laughs> All right, so I just have some general summer safety tips. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Ooh, most of these are common sense. You should know these already, but you know, just uh, to bring them up. You should know that common sense is not that common, so you know, it's always oh. good to bring that up. Oh, okay. Oh, well. So this is not common. So this is uncommon sense. Exactly. Now you're getting it. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, continue. Let's start with uh, some safe swimming. So the point that I want to bring up. Float. With floaties. Learn how to get to the edge Uh and then scream for help if you can't get yourself out of the water. And also never, ever go swimming when you have diarrhea. Because Uh, you will give everybody else diarrhea. Don't swim when you have diarrhea, you douche. Right. Noted. Um, I mean, I think. Oh, my primary concern would be that I would shit the pool if I had diarrhea. I don't give a fuck about it. Well, even if if you're like this, is, this happens a lot in kids. Like if if they have diarrhea uh-huh. and they think they're done, they might not really be done. So a little uh-huh. like even just a little fart is just gonna contaminate the entire pool and then get everybody infected. And so it's just a big brown rooster <laughs> tail coming out of <laughs> the fucking person's ass. No, it might, it, might, it might not be That's that. what it would look like, right? I just, that's how I imagine it. Have you ever been in a pool as a kid and then like somebody farted and you thought it was hilarious because bubbles started coming up? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you might not have actually shat the pool. But, <laughs> but, the, but the bubbles come up and they get everything else infected. Poop particles? Poop particles. Yeah. It's gross. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, because it can give everybody else diarrhea and everybody can else get dehydrated and you can die. You're going to die. You're going to die. Cool. That's oh. encouraging. Yeah. yeah. I hope so. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to go now into a pool I, with diarrhea. So, right. And not only that, but parents with babies that are still in diapers, for the love of God, do not put them in a public pool with other people. 
<laughs> with the diaper still on? With the diaper still on. People I've seen do that. this? Yeah, people do that. It's that's gross. gross. It's That's gross. So gross. Yeah, it's like, oh, look at my baby splashing around in the pool. Oh, look how cute. Oh, and you the, see yellow just starts to go around. You just see the around. diaper just get <laughs> soaked like that. It's and like then, one of their commercials where it's just like it turns blue and see how much absorbance, you know, how absorbent <laughs> it, it really gets. It's like it's a just going to look pack. like he's in a car seat. <laughs>